Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome to Marciano Stadium. Today's matchup, we have the MIAA Division I South Sectional Playoffs with the 15 seed Brockton Boxers going up against the 18 seed Braintree Womps. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. Jen Caruso getting ready to take the corner kick. She goes with the short kick to Ariana Almeida. Deflected right out in front. The shot goes right off the post. Action and a good chance already for the Brockton Boxers. Almeida out front. Ranger able to temporarily clear it. Over to Jen Caruso. Storyline of the game. Already, Jen Caruso is playing with a fractured wrist. Amita with the throne. Straight to a brain tree womp. However, Narita Montrand. Speedy with excellent footwork, as always. Over to Ariana Almeida. Almeida. Trying to get it to the front of the net. A collision out in front. And one of the Brockton Boxers is down. A head-to-arm collision with the goalkeeper for Braintree, Christy Fleming. Coach Tassinari for the Boxers getting ready to sprint full speed out to the field. And now they call for her. Maria Del Pico getting going into the game as a replacement. Del Pico just went on the field. Oh, she just went in. Was yeah. She's starting, huh? She... Who is that? We have a free kick for Braintree, about their five yard line. Still awaiting the kickoff from the Braintree Womps. It was number 18, Maya Powers, injured. Maria Del Pico going in as her replacement. It's a kickoff, and it goes right out of bounds off of the foot of the Braintree Womps. Another Brockton boxer throw in. Back and forth action in midfield. Nobody's got definitive possession. Brockton's got it for the moment. And that one's going to trickle out of bounds. So Braintree will have a throw in. Narita Montron got away with a little push there on the, the back of one of the Womps. Now number 15 for the Womps. That is Alex McInnes running up the field. The shot. Saved by Lauren Seaver. Not too much of a test early on, but a shot is a shot. Del Pico slips. A very wet playing surface here today at Marciano Stadium. We did have a storm and an offsides whistled on the Womps. So right before kickoff, there was a little bit of a rainstorm. There's a little bit of a rainstorm here in Brockton. Luckily, it, it cleared up, it looks like, for now. Uh, there is still a little bit of wind here, but the field got wet enough to be slippery. So that is going to be another one of the storylines of this game. Now 
Rita Montrand with it just across midfield. Tries to put it out in front of the net. Braintree takes over. Brockton exerting pressure at midfield, and that one goes out of bounds off of the Brockton boxer's foot. And Jen Crusoe's whistled for a penalty. She's just asking the ref what, what was the call. I want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for today's action. Let's see if I can get this right. The two-time and many more on the way. Award-winning director, producer, cameraman, all-around beast, Nubi Rateau. Braintree with it now in the corner. The cross out in front. Should have seen the bicycle kick there. The what? The bicycle kick. Yeah. And another good save by Lauren Seaver. Um. Our Anna Almeida's got good pressure on the ball. Montron fighting for the ball along the brain trees in front of the brain tree bench. And Brockton will have a throw in. I can use this, that's fine. Newby is, uh, our cameraman Newby actually had a moment of fame in the last couple of days here in Brockton. Everyone is talking about how he was driving around the city blasting the song All We Do Is Win after the Red Sox won the World Series. Marie Del Pico, good footwork. She's tripped up a little bit, but not enough for a call. Jen Caruso back to number nine for the boxers, Kaylee Mency. That one goes out of bounds off of the Womps. Mency on the sideline. Lauren Seaver will take the goal kick for the boxers. Michaela Norman for the boxers getting ready to enter the game as a substitution. Del Pico with it now. Good steal by the Wamps. However, they just boot it up. It's a foot race to the corner, and that will go out of bounds. So that is Michaela Norman entering the game for Morel Marion for the boxers. Montrond a good high kick to get it into the middle of the field. Back and forth action across midfield. Braintree's got it, now Brockton's got it. That is Narita Montrond over to Jen Caruso. Tries to get it back to Montrond, however, Womp steps in the way. Number four for the Womps, Caroline Cross streaking up the sideline, tries to cross it. It goes out of bounds off of a Brockton boxer, and we will have the first corner kick of this game. So Braintree threatening with a corner kick fairly early in this first half. A very windy day here at Marciano Stadium. The kick is up, and it goes straight out of bounds. 
I'm sure the wind didn't help on that one. Very high wind, averaging 45.7 miles an hour an hour out of the west. According to the official meteorologist, the newbie meteorologist team. The award-winning newbie meteorologist team. So Brockton is now kicking into the high wind. Goes out of bounds off of Braintree. Have a Brockton boxer throwing. Ariana Sylvia with a good takeaway there. Over to Haley Miller. Miller to Montron, Montron to Almeida. Boxers playing a short passing game. Almeida tries to get it up to Del Pico. Jen Caruso with an opportunity. She is unable to chase it down before Christy Fleming of the Wamps picks it up. About 10 minutes unofficially into this first half. Score still deadlocked at 0-0. We've got a real barn burner in MIAA South Sectional Tournament action. The Wamps have it. And that one goes out of bounds just past the bench. Almeida with another throw in for the boxers. She overthrows Maria Del Pico. However, the Wamps kick it out of bend. bounds. Jen Caruso trying to play as cautiously as she possibly can while still being very dangerous with that fractured wrist. One part of the game I can't imagine her doing much of today is a throw in. Wamps take it away from Narita Montrand. Silvio takes it away. She's got it now, running in front of the Brockton Boxer bench. Able to keep it in bounds. Oh, and Maria Del Pico is absolutely flattened by one of the Wamps, number eight, Sinead O'Callaghan. I think O'Callaghan for the Wamps is trying to get the crowd in the mood for the football game here at Marciano Stadium later tonight. Almeida with a direct kick. And Fleming with another good save. Very far kick by Fleming. And the very high wind definitely helping the Wamps so far. Del Pico now coming out of the game. Probably still a little bit dazed from that hit from the Wamps. Made it taking the throne for the boxers. And she'll try it again about 10 yards up. She tries to get it to Narita Montrand. Unable to do so. Sylvia kicks it right back and out of bounds right at midfield. Lauren Seaver. Getting ready to kick it off. She does a very short kick, only about 30 yards.
Lawrence Seaver calls for that one and gets it. She hasn't had many opportunities to spread the Seaver fever around as of yet. Definitely getting enough running in today, running all over the goalie box with the wind oh. pushing the ball all over the place. Sylvia with a good step there to clear the ball out to midfield. We'll have a Brockton Buster substitution. Morel Marion re-entering the game. And she is replacing number seven for the boxers, Mariah Texero. Wumps with it now. Jen Crusoe for the boxers. Now the Wumps with some room to run. However, an errant pass goes straight to the feet of Ariana Sylvia for the boxers. Good block there by the Braintree forward. However, Sylvia gets it right back. Jen Crusoe in the middle of the field. To Montron. The Wumps take it away. This could turn into an opportunity for a good defense by Ariana Almeida of the boxers, able to take that one away. And Crusoe trying to chase that one down. Now there's a late whistle, I believe they're calling in offsides on Braintree at the 34 yard line of the Boxers territory. About 15 minutes into the first half, still deadlocked at zero apiece. Braintree Womps and the Brockton Boxers going at it, MIAA South Sectional Tournament action. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium. Braintree's got an opportunity on a throw in here. And they send in a couple of substitutions. Number 13, Delia Byrne. And number 19, Kayla Wilson. Entering the game for the Womps. And an offside's whistled on Braintree. Almeida with the kick across midfield for the boxes. That one goes out of bounds off of Braintree. The boxers slowly but surely pushing it deeper into Braintree territory. Almeida with a short pass over to number nine for the boxers, Kaylee Menci. Wamps take over and clear it. But out of bounds, we'll have a Brockton Boxer throwing just inside of Wamps territory. Boxes with an opportunity, however, Christy Fleming picks that one up for the Womps. Very high wind gust. 
in favor of the Braintree Womps. That one goes across the 50-yard line. Some very far kicks coming from the Braintree end of things so far in the first half. Montrond with it now. She kicks into the wind. Plays it perfectly up to number 17. And a little bit of a miscommunication there for the Womps as the defender tried to kick it out of bounds as the goalkeeper Fleming was trying to pick it up. Another very far kick from the foot of Christy Fleming. Caruso fighting for the ball. The Womps kick it out of bounds. Womps getting ready to make a, a whole mess of substitutions, really. They make four substitutions. Only three came out. There's, there's the fourth. Fourth substitution coming out. Good header by number 12, Haley Miller. Opportunity for the boxers if Caruso can catch it. And Caruso is whistled for a whistle. And the ref is writing her up and speaking to her. Jen Caruso last game with a, well, to be perfectly honest, a nasty collision with one of the goalposts. Her wrist took the worst of the damage. Just gets a verbal warning this time. I'm sure if she's whistled for another penalty or two, they will give her a yellow card. We'll have a goal kick from Fleming of the Womps. A little more than halfway into this first half here at Marciano Stadium. Still tied 0-0. Brantry Womps, Brockton Boxers. South sectional playoff action going on here today. Let's kick it up across midfield. That one with a lot of topspin just goes out of bounds. Montron fighting for the ball. Sylvia gets it up to Montron. Montron kicks it high, looking for number eight. Nicole Fernandez. That one rolls out of bounds. We'll have a boxer throw in. It's a foot race to the ball. It could turn into an opportunity for the Womps. The cross, and it goes off of the leg of Almeida. The Womps will have a corner kick. Very hard kick from the Womps. Goes through everything. Across and out of bounds. Throw into Jen Crusoe. Out of order. 
I'll meet it with a throw in now for the boxers. She kicks it up looking for Jen Caruso. Very high bounce. And it eventually goes out of bounds off of the Womps. Number seven, Mariah Texera entering the game for number five, Michaela Norman for the boxers. Me to get him ready for the throwing. The shot, it's up and a good save by Christy Fleming of the Braintree Womps. And the kick with the wind goes very far. Almeida kicks it up across midfield. Goes off of the back of the head of one of the Womps. Takes a weird bounce and somehow Narita Montron ends up with it. Narita in a Donnybrook trying to fight for the ball. We have a collision. Bodies flying everywhere at Marciano Stadium today. Zariana Almeida gets up a little bit slowly from the collision. Here's Almeida with the kick. A lot of spin and Morel Marion unable to track it down. The Womps will have a throw in. Marion fighting for the ball. She taps it out of bounds. We'll have a Womp throw in. Sylvia tracks that one down for the boxers. Now it goes out of bounds near the Braintree bench. Almeida will throw it in. Sylvia with it. She tries to get it up to Narita Montrand. She does so. Good footwork by Narita Montrand. Now one out of bounds off of Braintree. Another Brockton throwing. About 13 minutes left in unofficial time. The official time is kept on the field by the referees. The score is still tied at 0-0. Womps of Braintree and the Brockton Boxers going at it. The good cross. And that one trickles out of bounds off of Brockton. Boxers swarm the ball. And Sylvia for the Boxers comes away with it. She gets it up to Jen Caruso. Caruso looking for number 17, Mackenzie O'Reilly for the Boxers. Boxers substitution, Yasmini Texera entering the game. Narita Montron fighting for the ball. Braintree puts a shot on Lauren Seaver and she 
goes down for the easy save. Shiva does an excellent job of kicking into the wind. Kick goes about 40 yards. Branchery with it here. The boxers swarm the ball again, and Rita Montron comes away with it. Wamps. Kick that one out of bounds off of an opportunity for the Brockton boxers. Jen Crusoe has got to be more careful. She's got an injured wrist and she keeps jumping right into the, the thick of the action. As much as I admire toughness, especially in the playoffs, you don't want to see a further inju injury with such a young athlete. We've got a brain tree substitution. My power is now on the sideline for the Brockton Boxers, getting checked out by Jerry Connors, the trainer. She's got an ice pack on her head, which is never a good sign. Sylvia with it now, up to Ariane Almeida. Almeida with the giveaway to the Braintree Wamps. Sylvia with it now. Good move. She's got it across midfield. She's going to get rid of it. The Wamps take over. And here's a breakaway for the Braintree Wamps. That is number six. Colleen Hurley. She shoots. And it goes just wide. Lauren Seaver charging out aggressively, putting the pressure on. Hurley rushed the shot, and she kicked it just a foot or two wide. So the best opportunity of the game for the Braintree Wamps. Score still tied, 0-0. Rita Montron kicks it up. No one goes out of bounds before... Number three, Allison O'Rourke can chase that one down. Sylvia boots that one across midfield. Rita Montron putting on pressure. She gets the ball. Back to Haley Miller. Bad first touch by Miller gives it away to the Braintree Wamps. Arna Sylvia with a good header. She gets it over to Mariah Texera. Texera up the sideline. She tries to find Mackenzie O'Reilly and is unable to do so. However, Texera gets it right back for the boxers and gives it away to the Wamps again. There's an opportunity for the Wamps. No offsides called. They've got a two on zero. The cross off of the goal post and they rule that went just out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick. Brockton's defense is collapsing late in this first half. And Ariana Almeida will Briefly take a seat on the bench. And here's an opportunity for the Braintree Wamps. They're going to have a free kick just beyond the 20 yard line of the football markings.
Here's the kick right on goal. And it goes off the football goal post just high. So Braintree with three really good opportunities late in this first half, unable to capitalize on any of them. 0-0, still your score between the Braintree Womps and Brockton Boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. Rita Montron gets it up to Jen Crusoe. Haley Miller heads it up looking for Crusoe. Now it goes out of bounds. Off of the Womps. Here's an opportunity for the boxes. This is number eight, Nicole Fernandez. Looking for the cross. And they rule that one goes out of bounds off of Brockton. We'll have a goal kick. Five minutes remaining in unofficial time here. Marciano Stadium. Very windy day for soccer. Sylvia chases that one down to the corner without touching it, so Brockton will have a goal kick. Oh, Lauren with a very short kick to Texera for the boxes. Texera looking for Jen Crusoe. Crusoe back to Narita Montron. And Mar Maria Del Pico re-enters the game for the boxers. Mel Marion with an excellent takeaway. She gets it up to Del Pico. Del Pico over to Montron. Montron crosses up a couple of defenders. The shot is up. And it goes through the football uprights into the field hockey goal behind the soccer goal. So we'll have a goal kick for the Braintree Womps. Big day for sports in the Brockton area. Short goal kick goes right to... Narita Montron, Kenzie O'Reilly with an excellent keep in there. Del Pico applying pressure. Ral Marion trying to chase that one down, and it goes out of bounds. Brockton throwing fairly deep in Womp's territory. Del Pico over to Marion. Marion with a shot. It goes very high and into the hands of Christy Fleming, the junior goalkeeper for the Braintree Womps. Another very far kick off the foot of Fleming. The wind definitely helping Braintree out in this first half. Sylvia, good footwork to keep that one in bounds and in Boxer's possession. We've hit the two-minute mark in unofficial time. So the official time will be kept on the field by the game officials. Marion with the throwing up to Del Pico. Once with a good takeaway. Haley Miller now for the boxes looking for Montrond. She finds her. Montrond looking for Mackenzie O'Reilly. Overkicks it just a little bit.
Now it goes out of bounds off of the Womps, so Brockton has a throw in. Sylvia kicks it up for the boxers. Montron with it now. Looking for Mackenzie O'Reilly. Wumps have it into boxer territory. If they can catch it, it is ruled out of bounds. So Brockton will have a throw in. Back and forth action across midfield. Braintree's got it for the moment. None goes. It's kicked out of bounds by one of the boxes. And that will do it for the half. An excellent half for both teams. Braintree getting the best of the opportunities thus far. Score is tied 0-0 at halftime. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. We'll see you for the second half. Seven thousand high school students drop out every school day. Let's catch them before it's too late. To start helping students in your community, visit boostup.org. Action already in progress here in the second half. Score is deadlocked at zero. Good first half by both teams. High winds here today at Marciano Stadium. The wind is now in favor of the Brockton Boxers. So that will be a major factor. Narita Montron with it now. Montron up to Jen Caruso. Caruso looking for number eight Fernandez for the Boxers. Caruso with it now on the sideline. She turns on the Jets looking for the cross. She's toying with the defender for the Womps. Playing with her mind. Womps will have a goal kick into the wind, so let's see what that does. They go, they opt for the short kick, and they kick it out of bounds. Jen Caruso taking a throw in with a fractured wrist. Determination, blood and grit in the playoffs. This is what legends are made of. Sylvia with it now for the boxers. Over to number nine, Kaylee Mency. Haley Miller to Montrand. Montrand gives it away to the Womps. However, the boxers get it right back. And they rule that one out of bounds right in front of the boxer bench. We have a whistle. 
substitution for the Womps. There's an opportunity, number 11 looking for the cross for the Womps. That is Lily Horrigan. It's loose out in front. Lawrence Ever goes and makes a save. The wind instantly helping the Brockton boxers. Lawrence Ever just kicked that ball about 50 yards. Kenzie O'Reilly for the boxers looking to track that one down. Collision and a free kick forthcoming for the Womps. Fernandez for the boxers over to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe with a bad first touch. However, the boxers get it right back. Narita Bontron with it. She gets it over to Ariane Almeida. Morel Marion now on the sideline. And it goes out of bounds off of Braintree. So Marion with the throw and looking for Jen Crusoe. Montrand is pushed very blatantly. So the boxers will have a free kick just inside of Braintree territory. Ariana Almeida will be doing the honors for the boxers. Very low kick. However, Michaela Norman for the box is unable to track that one down before it goes out of bounds. We'll have a goal kick. Nerida Montrand will do the honors. The kick is up. An excellent kick just across the goal. Nobody was home on the other side to tap that one in. So the score remains at 0-0. Zero, zero. Merrill Marion back to Almeida. Meet up to Fernandez. We'll have a Brockton boxer throw in deep in Braintree territory. Montrond, excellent footwork. The shot is up. And it's a goal! Number 10, Narita Montron for the boxers breaks the ice early in the second half. Brockton won. Braintree nothing. It's where legends are made right here. Narita Montron with an excellent move to break away from the defender. She puts a shot up and above the head of Christy Fleming, the junior goalkeeper for the Womps. And the score is now one to nothing in favor of the Brockton Boxers. So 
Sylvia with it. Up to Montrand. Back to Sylvia. Up to Norman. And out of bounds. Near to Montron, another excellent move to break away from the defender. She gets it up to Jen Caruso, who is unable to corral the pass. So Narita Montron breaking the ice here gets the first goal of the playoffs for the Brockton Boxers. About 10 minutes into this second half here at Marciano Stadium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action. Keely Menzi puts that one back deep into Womp's territory. And it goes out of bounds. I want to take this opportunity to once again thank our cameramen for today's festivities. The two-time, soon-to-be multiple award-winning director, producer, cameraman, Beast Mode. Here's an opportunity, Michaela Norman for the boxes, and a good step by one of the Womps to kick that one out of bounds. As I was saying, the award-winning, soon-to-be multiple director, producer, cameraman, overall Beast Newbie Rateau for sticking it out in the wind to bring you all of the video footage from today's game. Jen Caruso getting ready to take the corner kick. It's up. It's loose out in front. And the Womps able to clear it. The goalkeeper for the Womps is down and injured. And we have a whistle. We have some sort of stoppage here. And it wouldn't be a sporting event playoff in 2013 if there wasn't some sort of weird twist to the game in professional and high school sports. We've got referee, we've got a drop ball it looks like. Montron gives it straight back to the goalkeeper. That was a very weird situation. Not really sure what happened. I don't think anybody does know what happened. Del Pico with it now for the boxers. The cross broken up by the Braintree Womps. Sylvia puts the ball back into Womp's territory. Del Pico, a Donnybrook for the ball. She gets it and kicks it out of bounds, so the Womps will have it throwing. Throwing into the wind. We just had a wind gust here at Marciano Stadium. Fighting for possession. Braintree has it and an opportunity for the Womps. Broken up by the boxers. Michaela Norman on the sideline. And that one goes out of bounds. 
A weird touch by Michaela Norman. She thought she let it go out. However, didn't get all the way out. Now Narita Montrand has it. And she's got speed and excellent footwork. Sylvia trying to chase that one down. Lauren Seaver gets that one. And the Braintree forward begging for a whistle. It's begging for a whistle. Unable to get it. Kayla Norman coming out of the game for the boxers. Haley Miller up to Narita Montrand. Montrand, another excellent move over to Caruso. Caruso looking for Texera. Montron's got a free kick now. And the Braintree sideline erupts in protest to the referee on that call. Here's the kick. Good kick. Morrell Marion trying to chase it down into the corner. And it goes out of bounds off of Braintree. She gets it into Jen Caruso. Caruso with a push and gets away with it. Well, have a goal kick for the Braintree Womps. Del Pico with it for the boxers. And she is taken down again. And the ref's not giving Del Pico any calls as Montrand has it in the middle of the field. She spins around a defender, crosses up another one. Narita Montrand making all of us drool here at Marciano Stadium with excellent footwork. Low kick for Christy Fleming. And Caruso is whistled for another takedown. Braintree starts that one up quickly. Now it goes out of bounds off of Braintree. We'll have some substitutions coming in for both teams. Jen Crusoe coming out of the game momentarily for the boxers. So Christy Fleming getting ready to kick it off. Into the wind, a very short kick. So Christy Fleming for the, the goalkeeper for the Womps. Bombing the ball in the first half, 60 yards. Only able to muster about 30 w facing into the wind here for the second half. A 
Jen Crusoe getting ready to re-enter the game after having a conversation with Coach Tassinari. And we have a timeout. So Jen Crusoe getting ready to re-enter the game. Timeout here. Brockton still leads the Braintree Wamps by a score of one to nothing. The goal courtesy of Narita Montrand. And what a goal it was. Today goes to Bishop Fee and one o'clock Sunday. So very windy day here at Marciano Stadium. And the wind having a definite impact on all aspects of this game. The field looks like it's finally dried out. There was a rainstorm earlier in the day. So the get ready to go back into action after the timeout. The winner of today's game, whoever it may be, will face Bishop Feehan at Bishop Feehan at 1 o'clock on Sunday in MIAA South Sectional Tournament action. And BCA will be there as always to cover it, bring you all the action. Brockton will have a throw in. Jen Crusoe back into the game after having a private conversation. And we have a push called on Braintree. Very pronounced, blatant push by number four, Caroline. Caroline Cross for the Wamps. Montrand will take the free kick. Del Pico's got an opportunity, but Braintree able to kick it out of bounds. Brockton looking for the fast restart. Montrand with it now. Another excellent move. And another. The cross deflected by one of the Braintree defenders. And out of bounds. Here to Montrand will have a throw in. Montrand's got it. Looking for Texera in front. The shot. A diving save by Christy Fleming. Right off the fingertips. And we have a whistle and a goal kick forthcoming, I believe. The refs converge to have a little conference. And we'll have a goal kick. Crossing the halfway mark in unofficial time here. Second half action. Brockton boxers lead the Braintree Wamps by a score of one to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. As Mini Texero fighting on the sideline for it. Braintree's got an opportunity now. And Brockton's defense, strong as always, able to break that one up. Now Jen Crusoe streaking across midfield. She kicks it up looking for Del Pico. Maria Del Pico over to Montrand. Montrand in the corner. She's toying with the defender again. And she's taken down. We'll have a Brockton boxer throw in, I believe. Near to Montrand will kick this one, I'm sure, straight on net as Braintree sets up a wall a little bit close. 
Braintree trying to set up a wall about maybe four or five yards away from the ball and the rule is they have to be 10 yards away. The kick is up and wide and high. So Brockton with a good opportunity. However, the Womps come away unscathed. Montrond with it now. Taken away by the Womps. That one goes out of bounds off the boxes. Braintree will have a free kick. Into the wind and out of bounds. And Brockton able to move that one about 20 yards down. They'll have another throw in. We have a substitution. Number 15 entering the game for the boxes. That is Amanda Almeida. Texera being pushed. And she will take the throw in. Then Caruso to Narita Montron. Caruso with it now. Looking for Montron. The Womps take it away. Now Fernandez trying to chase it down. The Womps have an opportunity. And we will have a tripping call. And we have a stoppage on an interference call. The referee going over to talk to Nicole Fernandez. Just a verbal warning. One of the Womps screaming for location of the ball, saying it was 10 yards further than where it should be. Ball's loose out in front. Sylvia blocks it. And a blatant push on Nicole Fernandez. This game getting very physical, very nasty, very quick. And I would not be surprised to see some of the cards come out of the referee's pockets by the end of this game. We've got about 15 minutes left. And some change left in unofficial time. Brockton still leading the Womps of Braintree. And another penalty called. And the Brockton crowd erupts in protest. Things are getting very interesting here at Marciano Stadium today. MIAA South Sectional Tournament Action. Del Pico with it now, and she goes down. And there's no call on that. The referee's trying to set a standard of what they're going to whistle down and what they're not. Not being very consistent. We have a Braintree substitution. Number 19, Kayla Wilson entering the game for Braintree. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. Three boxes fighting over the ball. The Womps have an opportunity. And Brockton finally able to clear it out. Jen Caruso tracking that one down close to the sideline. She gets it up to Del Pico. Del Pico with a good move looking for Montrand. She's going to get rid of it. Morale Marion now, and that goes out of bounds off of one of the Womps. 
Things finally starting to slow down a bit here in the second half. Ten Caruso with it now, up to Montron. Montron, another good move. And she kicks it a little bit past Jen Caruso. Who is playing with a fractured wrist. Trying her best, but not at 100%. We'll have a goal kick and some substitutions coming from the Braintree Womps. Del Pico over to Nicole Fernandez. Fernandez looking for Montron. Del Pico with it now. Montron with the silence. She's got some room. And a handball, a blatant handball. Not whistled down by the ref. He's saying it went off the chest. I don't believe it. As Lauren Seaver scoops that one up. The referees all over the place. The referees are out of order late in the second half. Jen Caruso with it now. Jen always dangerous even if she's not at 100%. She kicks it up looking for Morel Marion unable to find her so the Womps will have a goal kick. I think we might be dealing with some replacement refs today. Lauren Seaver trying to chase that one down. The Brockton defender not letting her do so. Oh, and it goes just wide and off the post. A miscommunication between Lauren Seaver and the defender for Brockton number 15, Amanda Almeida. Brockton comes away unscathed with a goal kick. However, I'm sure there'll be a conversation about that miscommunication. We have a whistle and Brockton has too many players on the field. There to Montron. Up through the middle. Womps take over momentarily. As Morel Marion gets it right back. It's a very busy weekend for Brockton High Sports. As right now we've got Lady Boxers playoff soccer. Tonight we've got Brockton High oh. soccer and Narita Montron's tripped up. No whistle. The referees making up their own rules now. I don't think we'll be seeing these refs for a second game here in MIAA tournament action this year. They might have to go through the rule book again and figure out what's a penalty and what's not. Oh, and there's a blatant push. And the refs go over for a conversation. And the fans on Brockton's side screaming for a card. However, just a verbal warning. Not even <laughs> and, and the words of the stadium announcer here at Marciano Stadium, not a subtle push. The latest of a series of pushes by both teams. So we've got some Brockton High sports today, and then on Sunday, if the Lady Boxers win, they will play at 1 o'clock at Bishop Feehan. And then after that game, we'll be heading right back here to Marciano Stadium for Brockton High boys soccer. And they'll play against Bridgewater Raynham at 5 o'clock Sunday evening. So all of you people not going to the Patriots game, please come out and support the boxers. 
And there's another takedown. And the Brantry forward getting up very slowly. And they're... Oh, and they call for the trainer, and the Braintree defender pops right back up. And some unsportsmanlike conduct from Braintree. Wait, just trying to get a stoppage and a call. And as soon as they called in for the trainer, she pops right back up. Because if the trainer had to come onto the field, the Braintree forward would have had to leave the game. Nobody knows what's going on here at Marciano Stadium today. And Brintry gets a corner kick out of all of that. There's a crowd in front of the net. Lauren Seaver just trying to get a view on the ball, and we have another whistle. Uh, no? No, we're not what are we doing? And we did. What is going on here at Marciano Stadium? I think these referees are just trying to make me look silly. I'm just trying to do my job here. Now the referee going to talk to the Womp that is trying to take the corner kick. I just wish someone brought a gavel to the game so we could call for some order. Nine minutes possibly left in unofficial time. The official time being kept by the people wearing the, the yellow shirts on the field. I don't even know if they're real refs anymore. Lord, the, the, there's people lying on top of the ball in front of the Brainchy, uh, in front of the Brockton goal rather, and there's no whistle. And the Boo Birds come out at Marciano Stadium. Lawrence Eber will take a goal kick. Low line drive kick. Narita Montron with it. Braintree heads the ball back into Brockton territory. Sylvia trying to chase it down. It's been a while since we've had a whistle from the refs. I'm sure there'll be one forthcoming for some, some made-up rule on either side. Trying to play it fair here at Marciano Stadium today. Boxers still lead the Braintree Womps one to nothing, unless the refs got a goal that we didn't see. Who knows, they could have. Narita Montron with it now in front of the Brockton bench. She gets it up to Jen Caruso. Oh, the Braintree Womps trying to attack Caruso at her weakest point right now, that fractured wrist. Ariana Almeida pushed without the ball, and there's no whistle. And now we have a whistle. We have a stoppage, and we're going to have a conversation between the ref and Ariana Almeida, and she's getting written up. Seven minutes and 17 seconds left, unofficial time. We've got a stoppage. A free kick forthcoming for the Womps. And Ariana Almeida gets a yellow card. And she will have to come out of the game for the Brockton Boxers. Number nine, Kaylee Mency will replace her. The refs continue to blow the whistles for made up calls. So here's an opportunity for the Braintree Womps. Brockton has a three person wall. Kick is loose. Lawrence Seaver picks it up, and Brockton comes away unscathed. So Ariana Almeida, the first to get a card in today's action. I knew they'd come out eventually with uh, these referees. Sylvia trying to chase that one down for the boxes. She does and kicks it out of bounds. Braintree with a throw in.
The boot goes way wide and we will have a goal kick coming up for the boxers. And according to my official calculations, we're overdue for a whistle. Or a stoppage of some sort. Lawrence Seaver kicks that one, looking for Narita Montron. Nobody knows where the ball is. Fernandez trying to chase that one down. And we'll have a Brockton throwing. Jen Crusoe with it now. Sylvie gives it away to Braintree. Braintree with an offsides, and if they didn't call that, I was going to walk out. <laughs> Blatant offsides for the third or fourth time today. And we'll have a kick coming from the boxers. Low kick, and it goes straight back out of bounds. So we'll try it again this time. They will throw it. And we have a made-up whistle again from the refs. Braintree will have a free kick. Or throw-in, rather. Jen Caruso with it now in the middle of the field. She's in a Donnybrook. And another whistle and a push called on Jen Caruso. And the Braintree player screaming for a yellow card on Jen Caruso, who was standing within 10 yards. Nice. Now the, the players for both sides just seeing what they can get away with here. Jen Caruso with it now up the sideline. Braintree takes over. And that goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Marie Del Pico getting ready to re-enter the game for the boxers. Maybe she can calm things down a bit. As we approach four minutes left in unofficial time, we'll have another Braintree throw in. Brockton boxers still leading the Braintree Womps by a score of one to nothing. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium. As Ariana Sylvia clears that one. And it lands right into the hands of the Braintree defender but she was out of bounds, so I guess she can get away with that. Opportunity for the Womps if they can get possession of the ball. The shot, and a good save by Lauren Seaver, the first real test of this game for Lauren Seaver, and she makes the easy save. Very high, far kick. And a Braintree defender just falls down. There wasn't even a Brockton boxer in the area looking for a whistle. And we have a whistle and a substitution this time. No call. Just a substitution, everybody. A legitimate whistle for a substitution as Maria Del Pico re-enters the game for the Brockton boxers. These refs today remind me of the great NFL referee strike of 2011. Brantry with an opportunity, a shot, and it's deflected by Ariana Sylvia, and she kicks it out of bounds. A good defensive stand by the Brockton Boxers as we approach the two-minute mark left in the second half. And Braintree bodies are flying everywhere. They're begging for a whistle inside the box to get a free penalty kick. And there's a, another legitimate whistle for some more substitutions. So we hit the two-minute mark in unofficial time. Official time will be kept by the yellow shirts on the field. Hopefully they remember to start their clocks at the beginning of this half as Braintree has an opportunity now. The shot... It's broken up by Nicole Fernandez for the boxes. 
Sylvia with it now, trying to get it out. She gets it up to Del Pico. The Brockton Boxers with an opportunity. It's Del Pico and Caruso charging upfield. And Del Pico didn't put enough on the pass. However, she comes away with it. It's a two on one, possibly. And Braintree gonna chase that one down and kick it out of bounds, maybe. And Del Pico is dragged down for a third time today. No whistle. Here to Montrond with it now. And Jen Caruso didn't see the pass. So we'll have a goal kick. Time waning down here in the second half. Brockton still leads the Braintree Wamps by a score of one to nothing. So we finally have some blue sky and no wind at Marciano Stadium. Montrond with it now, just across midfield. Braintree charging back the other direction. And a good move by one of the boxes. However, an errant pass goes to the goaltender, Christy Fleming, for the Braintree Womps. I have a Brockton boxer thrown. The ref's looking at their watches. Jen Crusoe's got it. Del Pico's open in front. She's got nobody with her. Now one goes out of bounds off of Braintree. And I'm sure at the first change of possession we'll have the whistle to end the game. Bra uh, Brockton, rather, still leading Braintree by a score of one to nothing. Crusoe's got it in the corner. It goes out of bounds again. And they rule it off of Brockton. So the referee is making one last bad call in this game. Braintree still got it. And there's a Braintree player laying on the field and no whistle. She could be hurt. And they rule that as the game. The Braintree player is still on the field. Nobody's even paying attention anymore. Brockton comes away with the win and the refs finally call the trainer Jerry Connors over to attend to the Fallen Womp. Brockton comes away with the 1-0 win in a very hectic second half. Narita Montron with the difference. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from a crazy day here at Marciano Stadium. Brockton will play at Bishop Feehan 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. We'll see you then. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. We can make it better now. Come on, can we do it? Yeah, you know that we can. We rope it up. Cause we know how to jump. We roll it out. Cause we know how to skate. We'll cut it down. We'll cut it down. Cause we know what to eat. We'll swap it out. We eat healthy stuff. Can we do it? Yeah, you know that we can. Can we do it? Yeah, you know that we can. Just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Search We Can to find doable tips.